The number one thing I was doing when I started my business was replacing my income on my own terms. Uh, my own terms back then meant that I would work from home, that I would not require a babysitter for my child, and that I'd be able to work very part-time around my uh, growing family's schedule and at least replace my current income. I needed it to be simple. I had no time to spare. I had no savings account, no trust fund to fall back on, uh, no loans, nothing like that. Um, I had to have some success that was not hyped, where there was no pretense, where there wasn't a bunch of potential, where I could make money, I could make money, I could make money. Um, I needed something very simple and solid. I needed money in the bank right away uh, in order to keep my lights on, in order to keep my house note. And uh, so that's where I found myself um, roughly 13 years ago. And I guess that's where Women Who Wow was born, although it didn't uh, get technically created until several years later. But that for the first couple years, I was very, very deliberate about uh, my time. And I really had no interest in fame or you know anything ego building like this. It was about just keeping my lights on, keeping the bills paid, you know, having some extra for vacations and uh, just really having an enjoyable life. And, uh, and I loved that and I love that. So there I was, uh, one of the very few back then, sort of really working from home very profitably. Um, I had all sorts of different jobs. I won't even go into some of those jobs right now, but uh, they were all legal. <laughs> and I had a lot of fun with my business. But I wouldn't say that back then my business was built on a passion. Honestly, I was not super passionate about my work. I was passionate about what my work provided me, which was the ability to stay home, raise my own kids, and, uh, and live according to my own set of priorities. That's where my passion was. My business, the work I did, was not my passion. But soon, that would change. And I went from my original sort of business, you know, I made $63,000 that year, and I was essentially an at-home secretary, to partnering with a former mentor of mine and opening up a human resource business, um, to really cutting off all forms of income to my house to begin what was really the uh, the beginning seeds of Women Who Wow. And every year my income grew impressively and every year I got bolder with what I was going to do, um, what kind of events I was going to have. And eventually, even though all of my life my heart was set on simplicity, I fell off the simplicity wagon. So there I was, my heart still yearning for simplicity. And even though I knew better, here I was rushing from airport to taxi to hotel, from hotel to taxi to airport. And finally, I sort of woke up. There was something that I saw that just kind of shocked me into the reality in which I was living. And while it was like a dagger at the time, I am so thankful for it because as soon as I saw what I saw, I began to plan time to sit down and really take a look at where I was and where my business was. And I was shocked with what I found. I stopped and slowed down long enough to look at my own numbers, my uh, client numbers, my income numbers. I really just stopped to kind of take a business accounting of where I was. and. What I shouldn't have been surprised to find is that I was more profitable without all of the rushing, without all of that uh, rushing around and chaos. I was more profitable without it. And so I came back to what my heart yearns for, what my path is in business, and that is simple, measurable success. This doesn't mean small success, I can tell you. It can be wild, even unreasonable success, but it can still be simple and measurable. And that is what we're about here at Women Who Wow. No hype, no pretense, no posturing, none of that. Just simple, direct, measurable business success. At Women Who Wow, you know, I just want to lead other women to create 
all the success that's possible for them in their business while still being able to live their life according to priority. Because really, that's what it's about for me. That's what spurned me to start my own business was to live a life according to my own priorities, to not have a boss determining when I can go on a field trip with my kids or when I can take off with them. And that's what I created here. And so that's what I want for everyone here um, at Women Who Wow. Consider Women Who Wow your place to come to be encouraged, empowered, and equipped for wild, unreasonable, and simple success. I'm so glad you're here.